Hello everyone, what's up? JWisp here and welcome to episode 5 of the Minecraft 1.15 survival let's play. Here we are back in our amazing world and I'm super excited to start another episode. So I've noticed that this series is bringing a lot of new people to the channel so I just want to say really fast, if you are new, Welcome, and thanks for stopping by. So, in the last episode here, we created this tunnel, which, um, kind of ironic. I made this tunnel to make it so that I didn't have to jump over this giant hill to get to the other side of my village. Yet, people were commenting on how, even though I made the tunnel, I was still finding any way I could to still climb my way up this hill. So, <laughs> it was literally just a force of habit. So, to kind of help prevent that, <clears throat> I raised this little top part up a little bit so we wouldn't keep doing that in, you know I, I just did that but hopefully I won't do that anymore uh, and then we also did a mining trip where we got a lot of iron a lot of gold got a lot of really good stuff got a few name tags and it was pretty successful down in the mine shaft and so actually I went back down into the mine shaft off camera to see oh I almost did it I look okay, I I'm gonna break that hold on I literally was about to jump there and then jump there <laughs> um but we went down into the mine shaft got a lot of good stuff I went back down in there off camera I got a few things um <clears throat> let me see I mean I just got typical few more gold few more iron few more diamonds um and then also I found two more name tags so that's pretty good we should actually use those really fast to name the one dog we haven't named yet Sammy so she can have a name tag um and then I also put the other name tag on Bjorn and also named him and gave him the yellow collar because he usually has a yellow collar so there we go and then we have Sammy over here so we got our dogs they're all set <laughs> I don't know what I'll do for this name tag uh, maybe if someone else joins us in the future I will you know <clears throat> put it to good use but yeah I got some good items and then also off camera I created an enchanting table so in a few episodes here I'll probably make some sort of enchanting room with some books I used to have some sugarcane growing over there but I've collected a lot of sugarcane now and I think I won't need any more so we have that and in this episode something I want to do it's gonna be a pretty big project so there's gonna be a lot of cutting involved and doing a lot of stuff kind of off camera and showing you guys updates but if we look at our village here it's not the best village. We have a floating island up there, this huge thing, another floating island up there, these dirt pathways. We have a farm up there. We have a house up there. We have a house over there, another house there. We have another floating island. We have a giant ravine. We have a house that's half into a ravine about to fall down. We have this bridge made out of wooden planks. And then we have a bunch of houses over here with a really cruddy path. So what I want to do in this video is I pretty much, for the most part, want to do a village makeover slash remodel and <clears throat> what I'm pretty much going to be doing in this is I want to break most of the villagers houses not all of them like for example I might leave this one because that looks fine um, and maybe some of the houses over there um, but like this house definitely has got to go the house on top of there has to go I also want to start to break up some of these floating mountains get them out because I think they look pretty bad and then what I'll also do is start building some new stuff for the village so I don't just want to leave them without a home um, I'll create new houses I'll try to use a similar style to the style that Mojang already gave us for these villager houses um, but also something unique something that looks a little better and hopefully you guys can get some inspiration I also think I'm gonna make a few more farms besides just this one um, and I'll make you know different types of villager houses you know we're just going to have normal peasant houses, and then I'll probably have a forge for the armory type of villagers. And then, you know, I'll maybe have a little farm hut for those villagers, and maybe a little fishing hut for some other villagers. So just, you know, spreading the villager types across. I might also have different districts um, once this world gets bigger. So specific districts in this village, and maybe extend it into a whole full-blown kingdom one day um but i don't know i'm getting a little ahead of myself today i just want to focus on a simple remodel of the village and making it look better so let's go get started with that so what i want to do is start from the very top of the village and make our way down so what i'm going to do is head here just grab some simple blocks like some dirt and stuff to make some pathways up and then I'm gonna destroy all the stuff that's higher up and then start destroying the stuff that's a little lower and then also what's nice about destroying stuff and then eventually making new houses is because 
with destroying the village houses. It just gives me the resources to create new houses for them that look a lot better, but I'm making them out of the same blocks. I still want to stick with the theme of cobblestone, spruce logs, spruce wood, all that. One, because I like it. You know, I already build with those blocks regularly. Um, but two, you know, I just think it looks good. It's a, you know, it's a good idea. So as you can see, you know, we have that floating thing. We have a whole villager house up here. This island isn't too bad. What I might do is eventually build some stuff up here and maybe build some sort of, I don't know, some sort of way to get up here that would make sense. I don't know what would make sense for getting up on top of a village. Maybe I could build a bridge. I don't know. We'll talk about it. But anyways, what I want to start off with is taking down some of these village houses up here. And then also, we need to get the villagers that are up here down to the ground. So what I'm going to do is literally just... Let's actually start from the top and go down. Just totally start dismantling these houses. So I'm going to take down this houses. Uh, sorry, this house. Going to take down that village. And then let's see what we have once we've taken these down. I was in the middle of dismantling this house. And I almost forgot one thing I really wanted to do. Um, so before we actually finish off this house here, there's something something very important we need to do so we're not gonna have full-on diamond tools and armor and a full enchanting room for a while but what I want to do since we have a few levels and we do have an enchanting table is I want to enchant everything just to you know level one level two you know try to get full protection on my armor it's not gonna be anything crazy but it'll definitely help a little bit maybe if I can even get one level of unbreaking or efficiency on my weapons I think it'll help Ooh, we got a sharp or fire aspect that's actually pretty good um, let's go for efficiency one and then can I get unbreaking? I can't. Okay. Unbreaking is what I really needed for the axe and then I'm not going to enchant the hoe. So anyways, I just wanted to show people that really fast because I didn't want to randomly come back from a break with totally enchanted weapons and tools and people are like, wait, what the heck you cheated? Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do that so that, um, hopefully, you know, having some enchanted tools will make this process a tiny bit faster. Anyways. Let's get back to destroying that. All right, so here we are. I have successfully taken down this entire house and also the farm over here, and I destroyed that hideous <laughs> dirt bridge. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do this all off camera. I'm going to also have to repair my weapons a few times. Um, but what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to remove one of these houses over here and then also get rid of the path blocks here, take care of this bridge get it out of here so we can make a new one get rid of that house get rid of this path block and then possibly get rid of one of these houses over here so i'm gonna do all that it'll be probably like <laughs> a long time for me but only a few minutes for you uh so i'll be right back once that's all completed all right one hour and probably three iron axes later <laughs> we are back and as you can see, I've accomplished a lot in this little area, but I just have to say, looking back at the footage from before I did anything, it looks a lot better. So let me quickly explain everything I did again. Um, I cleared up this area a little bit. There was a big thing sticking out of the ground here. So I cleaned it up, took out the grass. I took out all of the path blocks. I destroyed that little bridge. And then over in that area, let's head over there really fast. Um, I'm just going to snatch some of this dirt so I can head over there. Um, I broke down the bridge. There was actually sand right around here. And as you can see, there's actually a little bit of it left. I'll eventually cover all this up. Um, but there was sand there and then I just placed dirt over it. I think that looks a lot better. And there was also a pond right here. I placed dirt over that. So this gives us a huge open area to explore. I left two of the villagers houses there. I think what I'm going to do with these two is simply keep most of the design but maybe change a few small things to make them look just a little bit better and then I'll eventually destroy the path block um, I just didn't do it this time because I've went through like four shovels and I really don't want to make any more shovels right now and then I destroyed the house right here I'm gonna add probably another house or something and also I can deforest this area and expand the village that way and then I also want to make a bridge that expands from this side to that side and so I think that's the first thing I'm gonna do um, simply because you know I, I'm gonna want access from side to side so I'm gonna make a bridge um, I have a few designs floating around in my head but I'm gonna try out some things and see what looks good all right so first I'm gonna get started here with the bridge like I said so first let's put down this crafting table and make ourselves a few fences just because I know I'll go through a decent amount of them 
and I oh, I always forget is this fences yes okay I always get fences and fence gate recipes mixed up I think a lot of people do I know I can't be the only one they're just so similar it's really hard to tell the difference so here we also have some slabs so I'm gonna work with these basic blocks and then let's start it I'd say like here we can make it three blocks long and do it like that and then maybe have like that in the beginning actually no let's put fences in the front I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Um, I'm just going to kind of float around with some ideas. <clears throat> and then right here, I'll do like that. And then have a slab for this level. Maybe? Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to play around with some stuff, see what seems good. I think if I just keep going up in half blocks here, it should eventually be all right. And then if I here just go another slab is that what I did with this yeah and then I go up one block from that I, yeah I think that'll look good and then I'll just have to I don't know I'll have to figure out something for this side because this side is going to be a little wonky a little weird but I'm going to mess around with some stuff really fast and I'll be back with you guys um, once I've done I know I've done a lot of cutting and, and you know jumping back in this video um, but that's just the nature of this video because if I didn't do any cutting or editing this video would probably be a few hours long and I don't want to do that to you guys so I'll be back in once okay so this is the simple design I have so far I just used the spruce logs I started with two blocks high then three then four and then between each layer um, I placed a fence and I just have the slabs literally just going up by one block each what I want to eventually do because I think it'll look better is on each block where the fence is place a dark oak slab um, because you know I think the oak fences look a little out of place but they look better than the spruce fences because the spruce fences blend in a little too much um, so then I think what I'm gonna do is on each of these last uh, logs here closest to the middle I'm going to place a stone brick pillar and then I'm gonna create a little bit of an overhang over the bridge so let's see how that looks all right so here's what I came up with and I'm actually pretty happy with it I don't think it's perfect but I think it looks pretty good so before we get to the overhang with the actual bridge I went back to the spruce fences and then I did this little roof thing where I went up with a slab and I did a stair and then I did another stair and then I did a stair up there to give it kind of like a pointed look on the ends I think it looks really cool um, the only thing I don't like is I just realized that it, the, it looks a little short. Maybe I'll go back and, oh yeah, I don't like how small that is. Maybe I'll go back and put two um, stone brick fences. But nevertheless, I still think it looks relatively good. I really like it. I'm proud of it. I think it's a pretty decent bridge, uh, and hopefully it gives you guys some inspiration. And then for the top there, I just did the very top with more spruce um, slabs because I think it completes it a little bit. What's weird, though, is... You know, these are both spruce slabs, but the spruce slabs on top look so much darker um, <laughs> just because of the perspective. But uh, and then also what I did under and I might do more with this another time, but I just placed some logs in like some different directions to make it look like that. The beams of this bridge were at least somewhat supported um, by logs and were just floating in air. So, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Um, Again, like I said, I think I'll eventually go back up and make it two stone brick fences high, but I don't really want to do that right now since I already have so much I need to do in this village, and I want to get started on that. But yeah, I think the bridge looks pretty cool, and I'm happy with it. Alrighty, so I fixed the bridge. I just decided to make it a little taller, and I gathered some more materials because what I want to do is I want to stop cutting so much and actually show you guys some tutorials. Um, I just didn't show you how to build the bridge because I just I didn't really have an idea for the bridge. And so I just kind of came up with it and didn't want to record it. But anyways, I did put one of these village houses in. So let me show you this really fast. And I will show you guys how to make one of these. So <clears throat> here we have the house. I came up with the design. Uh, it's pretty much inspired off of this. I wanted to stick with the spruce logs. I want to use some kind of stone. I used cobblestone originally. Um, but then I decided, decided to opt for stone brick. And then it is relatively small uh, on the inside, but it fits everything they need. I, I built a barrel, put it in there for a villager to have a job. And then we also have the bed in there. So I also have another bed for some other villagers. And so I'll show you how to make some of this. So this village is really coming along already, and we're already on episode 5. So I think this world is going to be very successful. I'm looking forward to it. So let me move some of this stuff out of the way. <clears throat> to show you guys how to do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your log. And I guess you could honestly, uh, if you didn't want to use spruce wood, use oak wood too. Um, and I think that'll look fine. But 
let me start in a corner here and then take this and go up one, two, three, four, five. I believe it's five blocks, right? I need to recount my steps. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> and then what you're going to do is five blocks between each log. So one, two, three, four, five, and then place it. So I guess each log is actually technically seven blocks. And then we have one, two. So it's getting... Mm, this one's getting kind of close to the entrance of the tunnel. I'm going to try to move it back one block. <clears throat> I don't want it to be like on top of the tunnel. I think that'll look kind of bad. Um, but if this mountain's in the way, I can kind of move it a little bit. Here, let's just do that. Will that work? Eh, I'll do it like right here. Yeah, we're going to have to do some work with that mountain. I'll just leave it like that for now. I think this will be fine. I don't think... Because when I come out of the tunnel... Yeah, this will be good. Okay, this is a lot better. One, two, three, four, five. So anyways, make each of these pillars five blocks high. And then have, you know, a block in between. And then I'll also break some of this mountain just to give me a little bit more room to work with. Um, it's not going to look the best, but it's okay. I need to just have some place to work. <clears throat> okay, so that's destroyed. Let's take this out of here too. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we have this, and next what you're going to do is take some of your stone brick stairs, place one there for the entrance, and then you're going to take a stone brick on either side, and then every other block, place an upside-down stair. This gives a nice little support look to the house. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know, it just gives it a little bit more shape, a little bit more detail. I think it looks nice. And then you're going to do it on every single side all around. It's relatively simple. The house doesn't look super small because the roof is pretty big and the foundation is fairly large. But the house itself is pretty tiny. All right, so we have that. And then what we're going to do is go into the middle here and just fill it in with spruce planks. <clears throat> so then after you have that, I think I went up, yeah, four blocks. That's what it was. So you're going to go up four blocks on each of these. If I could get that spruce log higher. All right, so next what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your stone brick stairs. Take those. I might need to make a few more. Um, but start from the front and then start from the same level as this log here. And just place your stairs. And then pretty much you're just going to go up um, with the stairs until you reach the middle of the house. And then you'll do the same thing on the other side. And then once you get to the very middle block which will be the middle of the roof, you do kind of a long spruce log. And so I'll show you how to do that. All right, so after you have this where you've built it up all the way except for this space right in the middle, grab your spruce logs and then just, like I said, make a very long spruce log and extend it one block further than the roof on each side. And then after we have that, you pretty much just place these stone brick slabs on top of it. And I created a cool little design. So actually, I'm out of stone brick slabs, but let me make some really fast. So we have that. <clears throat> I just place, place the slabs right on top of the entire thing. And then on the end, place a double slab because what you need to do is actually place an upside down stair. So let me get some dirt to get over here. And then, oh, no, that didn't work. You'll have to break that and then just place one slab. So then it has this little, I don't know, it, it kind of um, <clears throat> looks a little medieval, a little Viking-ish. If you, you know, watch people do Viking houses or Viking longhouses, it kind of is inspired by that. I don't know, I just kind of thought of it, thought of the idea in my head, <laughs> tried it out, and I thought it looked good. I'll work on getting this mountain out of the way, and I'll, I'll eventually break part of it. But I think that looks good. And then what you're going to do is fill in the sides entirely with spruce wood, just so it doesn't look weird. Fill it up all the way on both sides. And then what we're going to do after this is we add a few windows on each side. And maybe, you know, in the front, you can add some decorations. Really, whatever you want. I just did simple things like when you saw with the other house. I added a flower pot. I added a lantern. Uh, and then also what you're going to do on this side after you place the spruce logs is place stairs like that. And then an upside down stair right there. Just to give it a little more texture, a little more style. And I think it looks good. And then let's do that on the other side too. I forgot about that. 
I know this is probably the best tutorial. It's not something that I planned out. I just kind of did it. And so I'm trying to just copy the other house because I thought it looked pretty good. So we have that. And then we have the front here. So let's go inside really fast. Decorate it with that. I took the fletching table from the other house. So now this villager has some room. Let's take this bed really fast. Sleep really quick. Make it daytime and we can finish up this house. All right. So what we have is now the windows. I just go on each side and cut this little longer window. And then place some glass. And that's the windows. Um, as for the inside, the other thing I did was I filled in the roof a little bit just so it didn't look too tall because when it looks too tall it looks a little bit weird so i think i filled it in to there that way it just it just looks a little better like that <clears throat> and then you're gonna place here let's just give them a crafting table too um you're gonna have a spruce door bada bang bada boom do it like that and then really with the front you can do anything you want i fill in that little section like with the other one i'm gonna put a lantern there and then i'll put a flower pot there and then also take some spruce fences and I use the spruce fences a lot for just the different decorations. So let's do some stuff with that. All right. So I also want some spruce slabs. <clears throat> so then in the front here, all I'll do is I'll just, you know, make a little overhang like that. I think that looks good. And then for the windows here, I went up to the very top of the window. It's going to be a little hard to do. Let me get my dirt stack. <laughs> and then I placed a slab on top of each of the fences and then a slab one block higher right above the window. And this just gives a little more texture to the window, gives it a look, makes it so the entire house isn't just a flat block. And I think it looks pretty good. So let's do it on this side too. Boom, boom, boom. And there we go. That's the house. Hopefully, you guys could follow along. I know I wasn't doing the best tutorial. I was just kind of trying to explain what I was doing. But yeah, here's the other one. Um, I won't use this design for every single house around here. Um, but I think it looks pretty... Oh, floating water. Um, <laughs> but I think it looks pretty good. Uh, and I'll probably use a variation of the design for most of the houses around here. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Hopefully, a villager will inhabit it pretty soon. And we can start to get some life around this village. All right, so then back over here, I destroyed the village house that was here because I think what I want to do is create a house over here, more of like a fishing hut, and put a barrel in it for a fishing villager. And then to go along with that, right here, I'm going to add a fishing dock. So I'm going to use a similar design um, that I've used before. Let's make it this one. I'll, should I make it bigger? Nah, I'll make it a smaller. I don't want it to be super big. I'll keep it like this. And then what we're going to do is alternate between spruce and oak planks and this gives it a nice worn down kind of weathered look and i think it looks really nice so we're gonna do that get those slabs and then also grab our logs so i'll do let's do just like is that good just like that looks a little weird let's add a spruce right there and then yeah I think that's fine and then on this side I'm just gonna add an oak log oh that didn't really work wait um okay there we go and then break that and then I'll also expand the oak logs all the way down to the bottom of the lake just because I don't know I don't like when people don't have it go all the way down I feel like it's cheating a little bit it looks better when it goes all the way down let's move that and then let's get this one there we go. All right, let's head to the top. And then for the sides there, I'm just going to use spruce trapdoors. So get a little bit more spruce wood, make some trapdoors really fast. And then the trapdoors will just cover the side and it adds a nice little look to it. So there we go. I don't know if the villager will actually use it, but you know, it's the thought that counts. So there we have that. And then, oh wait, the, the uh, how did I do it with the other one? Let me check out my other fishing dog. I'm a little confused. Maybe the logs went one block in front of because I put oak trap doors in front of the logs on top of them. Oh, I see. I just, okay. I didn't even put trap doors there. I was a little confused for a sec. I was trying to see what I did. I don't know why it looked weird to me. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, I don't know. <laughs> that's that's the same design I use for pretty much every fishing dock. I just think it looks the best. Oh god. No, let's uh 
Let's steal this guy's bed. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to steal it with the skeleton right there. All right, let's take him down really fast. Oh, yeah, I forgot we got fire aspect. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? All right, let's... Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm using your bed really fast. I apologize. <laughs> But yeah, this whole village remodel, remake over thing, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoy. I know it's a little bit of a different episode. It's a lot, you know, I'm doing a lot more cutting than usual. I'm doing a lot more editing than usual. Um, but nevertheless, I still hope you enjoy. I'll be back to a fairly normal episode tomorrow. Um, just because, you know, I don't want to do something weird every day. Let's make a few of these oak trapdoors. I'll make more than I need because I know I'll need more in the future. And then I just place those on top. And there we go. There's a little fishing dock for him. It'll look better once all of the dirt turns to grass. And there we go. I think that looks pretty good. So that's all I'm going to do in today's episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm not sure what the total length of this is going to be. It might be a longer episode. might be a shorter episode. Um, but I just don't really know since I have to do a lot of editing. But hopefully you guys can get some inspiration with, you know, this cool looking village house we have here. The bridge design I had. And I destroyed everything. <laughs> um, I'll be building more stuff soon, obviously. Because, you know, I have a fairly decent amount of villagers. And I need to give them a place to live. Regardless, though, if you use any of these builds or enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I really appreciate you guys for watching. These videos are so fun to make and I love this series. So thank you all for watching. This is Jay Wisp and I will see you all in the next one.